are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, Black and White Sports fans, the national championship game is set. And the championship is actually going to be right out here in Houston. It will be the Michigan Wolverines versus the Washington Huskies. However, we need to talk about what actually happened in the Sugar Bowl between Washington and Texas. Because it was actually aired on, I believe, ESPN. I actually watched the Alabama game and then I went to bed. I was pretty tired. I missed this here. I missed this game. But the game apparently was uh, really, really um, good. And uh, Washington is actually going to the national championship. Now, guys. I grew up in the South. I still live in the South. I grew up about um, about 35 miles from the Louisiana border. Mardi Gras. Very, very familiar with uh, Mardi Gras. I've been to New Orleans as well. I know what happens on Bourbon Street. I've been to Bourbon Street. I've been to uh, Cafe Du Monde. On Bourbon Street, man, anything goes on Bourbon Street. ESPN should have known that when they decided to go to La Nouvelle Orleans, New Orleans. Folks, it doesn't even have to be Mardi Gras. OK, if you go to Bourbon Street, prepare to see nudity. I remember one time I was actually on Bourbon Street. Uh, this is when I was in college. I actually went to college in Louisiana, not Mardi Gras. And that was about five guys. And they all just pulled down their pants. That's what you see on Bourbon Street. Apparently ESPN did not get the memo because now they are panicking and apologizing for showing a woman on Bourbon Street showing her boobs. To the people on Bourbon Street, this is nothing burger. It happens all the time. Check this out, guys. ESPN apologizes for showing video of woman flashing breasts during Sugar Bowl broadcast. ESPN, what, what did you think was going to happen? This is Bourbon Street. It's Bourbon Street. W what do you expect to happen, man? Maybe you guys should have went to uh, Canal Street or somewhere else. And did some B-roll. But not. Nah, you were right there on Bourbon Street. And. You show what actually happens on Bourbon Street. Like I said, I've seen worse. Look here, it says ESPN apologized Monday for a video clip of a woman bearing her breasts. That was shown during the broadcast of the Sugar Bowl in New Orleans. It was aired coming out. Of a commercial during the second half of Washington's 37-31 victory over Texas in a semifinal game of the college football playoff. A clip of people wandering on Bourbon Street in New Orleans showed a woman pulling down her top to expose her breasts. Now, if you've never been to um, New Orleans, in the French Quarter, you actually have people... Um, on these balconies and you can kind of see it uh, right here because this is actually from um, the uh, ESPN clip right here. They'd be standing up there and they're actually screaming, show us your tits. And then they'll throw beads that the woman actually pulls up her, um, her shirt. That's what happens in New Orleans. Now I'm going to show you right here. I'm going to stop um, real quick because it's this woman right here. On the right side right there. And I'm going to stop before she actually um, exposes herself. But clearly. You know she wants some some beads or something like that. And doesn't matter. Kids are right there too on uh, Bourbon Street. I've been to uh, Mardi Gras in, um, in Lake Charles. They do the same thing. They expose their breasts for beads. That's what happens. So I'm going to stop about right there. Yeah. And she exposes herself. Nobody thinks anything about that on Bourbon Street. 
And by the way, really, really good food on uh, Bourbon Street. Quarter to Two Sisters. My goodness, that place is um really good, really good. But this is what um ESPN did. They came out, they panicked, and they apologized. Brief statement here from um, Bill Hofheimer of uh, ESPN says, quote, we regret that this happened and apologize that the video aired in a telecast. You had to know what you were getting into. You had to know what you were getting into. I mean, your B-roll could have been um, of the um, New Orleans uh, skyline if you didn't want this to happen. And some people may be thinking, hey, uh, isn't indecent exposure um, illegal or something like that? Folks, there's actually police on a uh, horseback on Bourbon Street. They don't do nothing. I mean, this is expected on Bourbon Street. It is one of the biggest partying places in America. When you go to the French Quarter, this is what you're going to see. If you don't want to see boobs, guess what? Don't go to New Orleans. Don't go. I don't believe there's any reason to um, apologize for this. I mean, ESPN has done way worse. I remember, um, what was it, about um, 15 years ago on uh, ESPN First Take? Uh, it was uh, the time when uh, Dana Jacobson and, um, was on there. And they had um, the former coach of the, um, who was it? The Brooklyn Nets. What was his name? Something, um, Franks? I don't remember his name exactly. But he thought that um, the show went to commercial and he started dropping all of these F-bombs. However, it was on live TV. I'll never forget that. And they came back and they um, they said, hey, we're, we're sorry. Um, we thought we went to commercial. And then, um, you know, that kind of thing. To me, that was way worse. I mean, flashing a boob. And I don't know how many people actually caught it. I mean, if you actually do watch the clip. I do think that um, it's actually uh, pretty obvious, but um, right on cue, ESPN has to go out there, do damage control. I get that, um, you know, you're not supposed to be showing, um, you know, breasts on um, FCC airways. But, hey, that's New Orleans. That's Bourbon Street. You had to know that was going to happen. Obviously, I believe that was on live TV there, too, because. Uh, maybe they should actually pre-recorded that and then edit it out or find another clip. But um, yeah, didn't work out for ESPN right there. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.